Hello, my peeps. I'm back. Um, so, I got some stuff finished I'm going to show you. This is sort of follow-up to my earlier video, because now I actually slowed down and, you know, went to do stuff. So I had a thought. First on the card keeper kit. Um, this thing comes very cool. Very, It's folded up. And then the bottom drops into place. This one I got it upside down. The bottom drops into place. Oh, I did have it the right way. <laughs> I just didn't grab it right. And these little flaps that are pre adhesived hold up and make the bottom. So I thought, okay, perfect. So we're going to put this down. And then we just got to make sure we get it all like squared up. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> You want to make sure you get this all squared up. Make it so your flap is at the top like this. Take your box and put it in the lid because the lid will act as like the the template or the frame. It's like when you're pouring cement, you got to put down the frame and the rebar first. Well, there you go. And then when you drop your piece into place, everything's all. So not only is it nice and squared up, but it's not flopping around because these these folds in the side, the creases that make it fold so nicely to ship um, they make it floppy but when you put the bottom on <laughs> and it's just temporary it's just using it as a thing then you can put these sides up and then once the sides are up you just pop it out and put the lid on so I figured that out <coughs> excuse me once again not coughing till it's video time um, yeah another thing I, I remembered so here's one of the cards I finished it and it does look nice what by the time when you actually stick it down and you put like little embellish or not embellishments dimensionals on it this is like i love this card and this card i don't have exactly this but i have similar things i'm going to be recreating this card because look at it it's awesome the one thing i wanted to remember to tell you though is when you're putting on vellum and i just put a strip because it was then it was easier to see whatever adhesive you put on behind vellum shows through okay so you can see the little strip right here Oops, it's in it. There we go. You can see it. Well, maybe not very well on the screen. Um, so whatever you do, so don't like put adhesive all over the place because it's gonna it's gonna show through. I put one little strip here because I knew that it was gonna be covered by my sentiment. So make sure you do that. This is what I meant. I put this on here just to hold it in place. I put it on the roll of glue dots just so it was more obvious. But these little circles are like the little. Uh, that's where the glue dot fits perfectly. We can just pop this down like this. So yeah, the the row of the row of adhesive is right above the glue dot. You can kind of see it's a different color. It goes from here all the way to here. And it's more it's way more obvious in person. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you see it, but just know that adhesive shows through vellum. So make sure you put your adhesive where your sentiment is gonna cover it. There we go. And there's the other card with a little. And like I said, it just looks so much better when the sentiments up on dimensionals and so those. And then remember, this this particular set has five different options in four different languages. Okay, so I'm going to post pictures of these here shortly too. Um, and then my last thing I thought I would show you is I did try to make the smallest of the ornaments with white glue. I thought I'll make it with white glue. I'll test it. Um, I couldn't. The white glue was just too slippery. It just it wouldn't stay on. I couldn't even get it to stay enough to see if it would hold. But I did put a, and I am, um, yeah. You definitely get a water glue gun. Um, so here's, oops, here's ornament number one. Ornament number two. I like this banner one. This would be my favorite one. I, I don't know why I have favorites. I do. Ornament number two, and then the little cutie. And this one's got a whole bunch of glue here because I wasn't paying attention. And I tried to stick the ribbon there. And then I pulled it off because it wasn't going to stay. And then I stuck it back down again with hot glue. And then realized that's not actually where the ribbon goes. The ribbon goes here. And I tried to make it work with the ribbon up there. It doesn't. So I had to move it down there. But look at this. Um, and, and when I'm showing them to you flat, it's not quite the same. When you see them actually hanging, um, they're super pretty. They're really nice ornaments. And th and these, I went and had a chat with my son and got made myself a new tea because the other one got cold and been talking about movies. And so I haven't spent the entire time doing this. These went together really quickly as long as you get a, heat, a glue gun. Mine is, uh, oh, it's almost cooled down. Um, so yeah, love these. 
the two kits, they are great. Um, and those are just my little, okay, I've actually made the kit now. There's my follow-up stuff. So now I'm going to go back, take some pictures, and uh, post the answers for you. But I'm more impressed with these cards than I expected to be. I will be honest with you. I love, 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 love these sentiments. I love the big, bold letters. Love it. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye. And I got my mouse charged, so now I'm going to say goodbye and actually just close the video. Bye.